conservative group Americans for Prosperity brought its regulation reality tour to the Grand Junction. Organizers told the crowd that the EPA plan would hurt businesses and drive up costs for consumers. Americans for Prosperity. Sounds good, right? Let's dig a little further. In 2008, Americans for Prosperity circulated a no-tax climate pledge that vowed to oppose any legislation relating to climate change that included a net increase in state or local government revenue. Why would they do this? What are their motives? And who's in charge of Americans for Prosperity? We went to their headquarters in Arlington, Virginia to find out. I'm Vanessa Black. I'm a filmmaker and an activist, and I'm traveling around America to find out more about our biggest polluters and climate change deniers. We're going into Americans for Prosperity. For Americans for Prosperity? It's not. It's not? Oh, why don't they list it? I'm not sure. Interesting. We've heard a term thrown around called dark money. But what does that mean? Dark money is money spent by corporations, other donors who remain anonymous. We asked Kurt Davies from Climate Investigation Center about the purpose of Americans for Prosperity and who's behind the organization. Americans for Prosperity is an organization founded by the Koch brothers. According to an August 2010 article called Covert Operations by The New Yorker magazine, Americans for Prosperity was started in 2004 by David Koch. And according to a study released in 2010 by Amherst Political Economy Research Institute, Coke Industries ranks 13 on toxic 100 air polluters in the U.S. index, and ExxonMobil comes in at number four. It is a, a political organization aimed at blocking federal regulation. Americans for Prosperity are an organization that wants to have a public face, except the, the face that they want to show to the public uh, is not their real face. The face that they want to show is that they are a grassroots, almost citizen-led organization that exists in order to try and help the ordinary frustrations of Americans uh, become known. Now that's not true. The, the, the reality is that they are an organization that are funded and very closely controlled by the Koch brothers that work to advance uh, issues that actually benefit the Koch brothers financially. It gives them a way to do grassroots, or in, we would call it astroturf campaigning. They go state to state. They can get out in public and be a public face on the campaign. The Supreme Court gave uh, the EPA authority to regulate greenhouse gases under the Clean Air Act, Americans for Prosperity. They thought that was the end of the world. I'm Tim Phillips, president of Americans for Prosperity. We're here in Billings, Montana on leg three of our hot air tour. I hear you're a local agitator, Eric, on our free market issues. Is that right? Absolutely. <laughs> They went around the country trying to uh, scare people, frankly, into thinking that the EPA was this new draconian bureaucracy that was going to uh, impact their lives. The ads are super emotional. My husband has been a coal miner since 1994. In the past six years, my husband has been laid off three times. The war on coal is a war on working class families. And many of their ads are about how your own life will be impacted. You will be forced to do something you don't want to do. Hey, I'm trying to get in touch with Tim Phillips. Although I couldn't get them on the phone, they responded to my email by stating, they're an organization focused on economic issues and they don't take a position on climate change. But how is that true with their marketing? One of Americans for Prosperity's tactics was to go out into House of Representative elections, senatorial elections, and get candidates to pledge that when they got elected, they would do nothing on climate change. They would never touch the issue of climate change. It was kind of drawing a line in the sand for these people before they even got to Washington. They would say that you want to get rid of coal, this is a war on coal, and that sort of becomes, well, this is just anti-business, this is anti-American. And that has been a talking point for a while that basically the, the things we need to do to address climate change are un-American. They continue to attack 
uh, through working with allies like ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, and other local groups and the state policy network, attack anything green that emerges at the state level, whether it's, it's it, renewable energy policy or uh, carbon counting, anything that is, that is getting closer to sane climate policy, they will attack. This is the fundamental thing. Americans for Prosperity are hardcore climate deniers. They're not using science. It's not, there's not a science-based argument to be made there. Uh, there is strong, compelling scientific evidence that this is happening, that it's human-caused, um, and that we need to do something about it to avoid dire consequences. They are increasingly becoming more of an electoral organization, spending millions in our elections to defeat politicians who don't agree with the Koch agenda. It's 75 percent of the American public believe that we're on the wrong track in terms of there being too much money um, in our elections. And, and, and what that means is that they don't have a voice. Americans for Prosperity is a dark money group. It's a 501c4. And it has been running a lot of ads that it classifies as issue ads in light of climate change. But a lot of it is spent on ads to get candidates elected who, will, who essentially will vote against the climate change policies. Americans may see an ad on TV. They don't know where that money's coming from, who's sponsoring that ad. If they knew this was money coming from the energy industry in order to support policies that benefit the energy industry's bottom line, as opposed to dealing with climate change, um, they might have a different view. There are so many corporations who are in favor of a carbon tax and, and uh, you know, politicians on both sides. Everybody knows that it makes sense to tax carbon in some way. Uh, not only the revenue generation, but just how you start to ratchet down something that's bad, that is carbon in the atmosphere as you tax it, you put a price on it. Americans for Prosperity are in fact backed by some corporations and individuals who have a very specific agenda. And ultimately, their intentions are politically and economically motivated with a goal to oppose regulations in favor of climate control and environmental responsibility. We all live in this world. Why would we want to oppose regulations to help keep it safe for future generations? Join the growing movement to solve the climate crisis and fuel a cleaner future.